everyone, welcome to Just Julia. Today we're making a really delicious and refreshing treat, summer popsicles. For today's popsicles, we're going to be making three really delicious ones. We have a frozen yogurt parfait, we have an iced coffee, and then for the adults, we're going to be making a gin and tonic popsicle. It's super easy, you just need a few basic ingredients. For this recipe, you're going to be needing three ounces of gin, two cans of tonic water, one long English cucumber, about two cups of iced coffee, one cup of milk, and then for the yogurt parfait, you're going to be needing about three cups of Greek yogurt, half a pint of raspberries, about a cup of granola, a few tablespoons of honey, and about a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to be starting first with our frozen yogurt parfait because that one is a great one for breakfast. So what you want to do is you want to have your fresh raspberries and we're going to macerate this with a little bit of sugar. So these raspberries are really local and they're really fresh so I don't want to use too much sugar. I'm just going to do a few tablespoons at first, give it a little stir and then let that sit for a few minutes so that all those juices and the sugars can combine. Next we have our Greek yogurt. We're going to be flavoring this with a little bit of honey because it is plain and everything's a little bit better with a little bit of honey. So we're going to give that a stir. That's looking really good. Now the most important part of making popsicles is choosing the right popsicle mold. So today for our frozen yogurt parfait popsicles we're using the classic popsicle mold. I love using this one because you get that really traditional and fun old-timey popsicle feel. And these are made from aluminum. I would always recommend using aluminum over plastic if you have the choice. Sometimes you don't have the choice, you want to make popsicles, you go with whatever you got. So that's our molds. Once the raspberries have soaked up some of that sugar and it's getting a little juicy, you're going to want to add half of the yogurt to the raspberries. So this parfait is going to be two colors and two flavors. So that's going in like that. You're just going to mix it up. This is going to create a really, really beautiful pink color. And we're going to be layering these two flavors in our popsicle molds. Doesn't that look so good? Perfect. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is by taking a small spoon, and it's a little time consuming, but you're going to just be spooning in a little bit of each flavor into each mold, alternating with the vanilla and the raspberry. So all of our molds are filled. You don't want to forget to put in your popsicle sticks. Most of the mold sets come with popsicle sticks. If unfortunately you've run out or you don't have any, you could use skewers. Just stick two skewers in there and it'll be nice and firm. So you're going to want to put your little top that comes with the molds onto each rectangle and then just stick the stick right in there and there's your popsicle. This is going to go into the freezer and you want to let it freeze for about three hours. So it's been about three hours. I've demolded the popsicles by just running the molds under some warm water and they are completely frozen and don't they look so beautiful? It's almost like a tie-dye effect. I mean these are beautiful and tasty just as is but we always got to kick it up a notch here so we're going to garnish with some granola. We're going to take a little bit of that honey and just drizzle it right on the end here. Just like that. And then we have some tropical granola that we're just going to put right on top. It's going to stick to that honey. Here you go. That is your frozen yogurt parfait with granola. So up next, we have our iced coffee popsicle. I like this one for the afternoon pick-me-up. You're feeling a little sluggish. You already had your frozen yogurt parfait for breakfast. This popsicle is for you. It's so easy. All it is is cream and iced coffee and a little bit of sugar. For this one, I'm going to be using a plastic mold because I like the shape of it and we're going to be layering this one also with a little layer of cream at the end and this one is really easy to do that with. 
So all you have here is your iced coffee. You're just going to simply pour that into your molds. This is so easy, you guys. Use any coffee that you like. You know what? You can even use cold brew if you're super trendy. Fill it up about three quarters of the way. So I've got about that full. And then you're going to want to freeze that just for about an hour so it gets firm. And then we're going to do our cream layer. This is going in the freezer. These have been in the freezer for about an hour and we're ready to make our cream layer. So all we have here is about a cup of cream. To that we're gonna be adding two teaspoons of sugar. It can also be to taste if you'd like it more sweet or less sweet, add more or less. And then we're going to be adding a little bit of vanilla extract. You could also switch up this recipe and add in some cinnamon, which is really tasty. You could add in some almond milk. You could substitute the almond milk for the cream. Really, the world is your oyster. So give that a little stir. And then you're going to pour that over top the already frozen coffee, just like so. And that's going to go back in for another two hours. Now the popsicles are completely frozen and they're ready to enjoy. So there we have it. Our beautiful iced coffee popsicle with a little surprise layer of cream. And last but certainly not least, my personal favorite, the gin and tonic popsicle. I like this popsicle because you can discreetly day drink and no one will judge you. To begin with this popsicle, we have the cucumber. So this is going to create a really cool ribbon, which we're going to put into the mold. It's going to wind up the whole popsicle. So you want a nice, long English cucumber. Take a vegetable peeler. Just peel off the first strip. Don't use the first strip because it's not pretty. And just do a few nice, long strips, just like that, with the skin on. For this popsicle, we're using a cone-shaped mold. So a little bit more unique. I think it's just as beautiful. It's kind of like those rocket popsicles that you get at 7-Eleven. So you have your cucumber ribbon. You're going to take your mold and you're just going to slide it right in. And then you're going to turn it just like that turning it into the mold. So you can see it's like a little spiral right in there. Repeat with the remaining ribbons. Once all of your ribbons are in, you're going to be wanting to add the gin. Now, I know it's tempting, but you don't want to add too much gin or else your popsicles won't freeze properly. So try to stick to about half an ounce per popsicle. Now, I'm not going to measure because I'm a pro, but try to be careful. That looks good. Repeat with the remaining molds. You're going to want to top up each mold with some tonic water. And then about three hours later, you're going to have these little beauties, our cute little gin and tonic popsicles. They're so perfect for summer entertaining and oh so refreshing. If you've liked what you've seen, subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.